my channel. Thank you again for stopping by. Uh, as you can see, my hair is up. I'm, this is an impromptu headband, so uh, don't get all freaked out about it. I just did my hair. I just got out of the shower, and I thought that I would go ahead and uh, try my best. I'm no professional or anything, but try to put together a nice little holiday look. I know the holidays are coming up, and us gals of all ages like to be glammed up, uh, but not, you know, not, not to the point of where we're like, oh, it's right in your face, but really a nice smooth look. So in this video, what I wanna do actually is I wanna take uh, the stuff that I've got and I wanna give you guys choices. So um, choices between primer, choice, I'm looking down here, Choices between mascara, choices between eye, eyeshadow, choices between highlighters, choices between blushes, and <clears throat> sad to say I only have one choice, well actually two, for lipstick, uh, depending on how you want to go. Uh, as you guys probably know, I'm not a big uh, dark red lips type of gal. I gravitate a lot to the neutrals and the nudes and so on and so forth. But um, I do have a couple in my arsenal that I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, and oh, I also have some um, setting sprays. So we'll go through that. And I'm looking off here. I think I've covered everything. Yeah. So uh, let's get started. I already did my eyebrows and only because I'm trying not to waste too much time. So I did that off camera. Uh, what I am using is a Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil. I really like this, guys. This is this one here. And uh, I just, that's my go-to. I do like the Wet n Wild brand. Uh, I also like the uh, Revlon brand. So I kind of enter mix uh, in case you want to know that but um i washed my face i got out of the shower my hair is uh done so i'm going to start with uh some primer choices and then we're going to move on the actual uh application of the uh, makeup and the eyeshadow and i've got i'm using um for eyeliner i will be just using a darker eyeshadow from the palette that i'm using so you know that's not going to be any big of a choice because I figure that's something you guys either want eyeshadow or don't do eyeshadow. Um, I will forego the false eyelashes, so you know that that's not going to happen. Uh, but I do have some mascara here and etc. etc. So let's get started. Um, okay, the two primers that I brought down that are my go tos, and these. Uh, will last you throughout the night. They will last you for, you know, your entire soiree, party, uh, you know, uh, office party, family gathering, whatever. Uh, one is by Maybelline, and it's the Master Prime by Face Studios, and that's this one. And then the other one I really, really like is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition smoothing face primer there's a third one that i really like i didn't bring it down and that's the wet and wild uh rose water uh primer that's very dewy and i use that a lot primarily primarily for the uh you know summer months but these are uh, my ride and die these are my true true favorites so i'm gonna go ahead and pop open the um master prime and let's get going on that one and it's a it's a white cream so that's how it looks like uh hopefully i'm in focus here i'll go ahead and focus the camera one more time just to make sure that you guys are seeing me oh let me flip my little um mirror down there okay guys hang on let me go ahead and focus myself in okay i'm focused in Hopefully this will follow my face as I'm going around and doing this. I really like to do two little applications. I get my chins, my noses separately right here. And I really, really pat down, as you can see. I really pat down and then get this area here too. And here. There we go. All done. And then I just drag it down a little bit. You don't really have to. I, I feel that, you know, your makeup kind of sticks on your neck no matter what, but uh, this is really good staying power for your face. Okay, so primer is down. 
boom, got that going. Okay, second thing we're going to do is the um, makeup. Okay, guys, I am back with the uh, second bottle. So I've got two of my favorites for really good longevity and beautiful wear and really nice color. Um, and they're both, incidentally, by CoverGirl. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of these things where it's a no-brainer for me. CoverGirl outlasts all day, stay fabulous, broad spectrum 23-in-1 foundation. And I've got the color 825, which is a uh, buff beige. So that's this one. And then I've got another CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Ex Elixir. And that's in number 710, broad spectrum, also 20. And this has vitamins and it's vitamin enriched and all of that. So that's that one. So today, these are both absolutely fabulous just to let you know not sponsored or anything i wish you know cover girl go ahead and sponsor me please um but they are absolutely really really good for longevity uh for going out i'm gonna go ahead with the cover girl outlast all day so i'm i have my trusty sponge here big old big old sponge and i believe this is from oh what is that what is that uh Oh, I'm going to have to put it down here. It's um, it's a woman's name and it's available at Target. But for the life of me, I can't I can't uh, focus on the actual name right now. OK, so we're going to dot on and uh, get that nose there, get under the eyes. I do like to go pretty close to under my eye um, just because I'm I really am not a big concealer user. Uh, the reason being, I just, I haven't found a concealer that is, to me, um, a total, total, um, totally hiding the, the demarcation, let's just say, between foundation and concealer. So, I, I don't like that look of looking like you, um, have been wearing ski glasses. I, I, I can't explain it any other way. Um, if you guys look at Trump, he always looks like he's wearing, you know, he has just gotten off the ski slopes and he's got this huge white demarcation underneath his eyes. And I always feel like, you know, dude, did you ever do on the highlighter or I mean on the concealer or something? Um, cause boy, oh boy, can you tell? And I like to go and pat. I don't know if you can see this. I'm bouncing, but I'm actually patting it also. And it's kind of like a pat, pat roll, pat roll, pat roll kind of thing. I like to go all the way up into my hairline. Don't worry about that, guys. And then, oh, there's like a little piece of dry foundation there. And then drag it all the way down. That just depends on your uh, outfit and how far down you want to drag it. If you have some decollete, you might want to go a little uh, lower just to blend in your um, neckline uh, with your face and all that. And oh my gosh, I could just, I, I already see the coverage. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It is so even. That's what I love about it. It is absolutely even. I had this guy with, with a package coming up my driveway. You can tell it's the holidays because I literally have a package a day being delivered, if not two. It's like Grand Central Station here. And this isn't even my holiday uh, gift package kind of stuff. This is like the prep to get ready for the holidays packages. Like, oh, I need, for example, a, uh, a certain baking pan that I can't find anywhere except Amazon or I need a certain blah 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 whatever it is it's it's literally household items that I need to actually prep for the holidays I know that you know where I'm coming from okay I have not even geared up for holiday purchases or, or things like that all right moving on Maria keep it rolling Okay, um, the other trick I'm going to do is I'm going to take a minuscule amount of the same foundation. And I mean minuscule. So, like that, okay? 
and I am going to use this as my uh, eyeshadow base. And you can forego this step. I just find this really helpful. Uh, it really covers anything that you need covering. Uh, it just gets a nice even tone to your uh, skin up here on your eyes and it blends very well with your face. So why wouldn't you do that, you know? There you go. Now, you know, feel free to use your favorite um, eye primer. If that's what you're going for, that's great. I cut corners where I can. So there's that. So um, I will come in now. And that's how I look like. And, you know, you can double apply. You can apply maybe a little more around your nose if you want or any red uh, spots that you've got. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. But, I mean, look at the luminosity already on that, guys. I mean, I have not done highlighter or anything else. I mean, it is just luminous. Okay, so moving on, we're going to get to the eyeshadow next. Okay, guys, so getting to the eyeshadows. I've got three palettes to show you guys. These are, again, choices of mine. This is how I would kind of... Um, Think about it when I'm getting ready, depending on what I'm wearing. Do I want to be a cool tone or do I want to be a warm tone? I can go either way. Some people can only um, do a cooler tone. Some people can only, because of their skin tone coloring, can uh, get away with a warmer tone. That's totally discretionary up to you. But these are some of the ones, and these are drugstore brands. These are not you know, the $60, $70, $80 palettes. Um, I don't really own any $60, $70, or $80 palettes. I just, maybe I'm cheap. Uh, I, could, I could say that. But I just found what I've found, what I've needed um, in the everyday store, in the everyday, everyday woman's store, you know, in Ulta. Uh, in Target, in Walmart, in Walgreens, and I, you know, I might, I might gift myself one one of these days, but I'm not, I'm not dying to have one. Um, I don't feel like I can, I, I feel like I can live without it. It's a nice to have. It's not a need. It's a want. You know how that goes. So um, anyway, you know, you guys do you. Uh, whatever one you guys really love, you go for it. Okay. The uh, three choices that I've got, um, I am really liking this Crimson Edition uh, by Rimmel. You've seen me put that on one time. And this has just got gorgeous plum and berry colors, which I absolutely adore and love. Uh, so that's one of them. Then I have a Profusion Smoky Eyes eyeshadow makeup case, and that's this one. I believe I got this at Target, so let me open this one up. There we go. Thumb, thumb issues still, guys. You heard about my thumb issues. All right, I'm going to take the paper off. I'm going to take the little eyeshadow thingy off, and then I'm going to show you these colors. Now, these are more of the cool tones. And they're the blue cooler tones, so they're absolutely beautiful, just gorgeous. If you're, you know, if you um, are going to wear black or you're going to wear a dark blue outfit, uh, anything like that, I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. So that's there. Okay. And then the third one, which is another kind of warm tone and it's more neutral. So if you don't want to go hog wild on your colors, uh, this is Makeup Revolution. I believe I got this at Ulta, so I'll hold that up. And these are just more of the berries, the browns, the plums, and you've got uh, a couple of really nice neutral tones right here, right there, right there, down, down, Maria, down, right here, right here, and down here. All of all of these are really, really beautiful, beautiful tones. Um, let me see. See, these are, you've got about uh, three, sh four, five if you count the black. Uh, you've got about five shimmers in here, and the rest are um, on the matte side. So, again, there's that for you guys to look at. And absolutely beautiful. So, uh, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Makeup Revolution today. I've already done a crimson uh, Rimmel look for you guys and um, 
I'm wearing this green, by the way, this is hilarious. Uh, is this too early for, for the holidays? But I have to show you this t-shirt, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna laugh. Your gift is in the litter box. Is that the cutest thing on the planet? I mean, I had to, I had to have this. Being a cat lover and everything, I had to have it. So that's what I'm wearing today. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. And there are no names on this palette, of course, because names would cost you extra to come up with. So they never have names. So I'm just going to basically point to a few of them and then show you um, how I'm applying it. And uh, we're going to go on from there. Now I have hooded eyes. I'm a mature gal, and uh, I don't want to overdo it. I'm not here to uh, wing it out and, you know, do whatever the 18-year-olds are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get in first with a really, really nice base color, and that's going to be uh, this color right here, okay? So that's the second from the, you know, left, well, right on my side, probably left on your side, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush up here and I'm using this brush which is uh, the Wet n Wild brush, okay? It's a flat applicator and I like this because I can just um, almost do a patting motion and get up into uh, over my crease. Now this is, this is kind of like a trick that I use. I extend my color uh, past my crease almost under my brow bone, if you can see, okay? Can you see that? Right there. Um, and don't be afraid to extend it if you do have hooded eyes. That's what this is for. And it's already a really nice deep shade, really pretty deep shade. And I'm just patting and scooting, patting and scooting. You don't have to go Windshield, windshield wiper hog wild on this, okay? Just get it over there, right under that brow bone. And there we go. No fallout. Okay. And we are going to soften it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other eye right now. foundation on there, uh, it really helps it to cling on. And it's clinging on very softly and very smoothly, if you can see that. Uh, really, really nice. And I'll go ahead and zoom in once, you know, once I'm done. Going down here into my actual lids and just making sure there's enough on here. So that's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just um, soften it out a little bit and I'm using this little fluffy brush and I don't even know if this is an elf brush. It might be, it might not be. That's the brush I'm using. And I'm going to just lift my eyebrow just a tiny bit and then ever so gently make little circular motions and soften this out. free to use your um, paper towel and you know take some stuff off if you want in between. I'm going to do the same thing with this eye. I'm going to hold it up and then just do a little bit of blending. It's a combination of going around in circular motions and just blending all the way up here. So there's that. Okay, moving on, I'm going to go in with a small little brush like this. And this is, what is this? Profusion. Okay, so this is the actual Profusion brush that came with the um, 
a smoky eye. I'm just using that brush with this eyeshadow. So yeah, don't judge. This is the way it's going. All right, I'm gonna go in with a um, shimmery little brownish. I'm gonna show you guys. It's uh, it's this one right here. And it's it's almost like a taupe but brown. It just depends on what what color it is. And I'm just ever so lightly tapping on here. And then I'm going to do that for my actual V. And I might need a couple of a couple of passes on this because it is such a light hand. I really don't want um to even be able to tell that I've got this chunk of V going on here. There we go. And it's just just to deepen it a little bit, ever so lightly to give it a little shine. There we go. There we go. So the outer corner is getting a little bit deeper. And again, not by much. Um, I don't want it to look like I have written on my face. That's not the object of the game for people to stare at your eyelids and go, oh my God, look at that V cut on her face. Um, it's all about illusion, guys. It's all about the magic of makeup. Uh, if you can pick out things and you can see things very, very easily, then you haven't been successful, in my opinion, uh, with the illusion of makeup. And that's what it's all about. It's just getting that illusion. There we go. And feel free to blend in best you can. There we go. I hope you guys are doing really good. I'm just doing a little fluff there and a little fluff there. Okay, there. Okay, I'm just closing my eyes so you guys can see. Uh, let me get a little closer, see if you guys can see a little bit closer. Hang on, there, okay? So far so good. And then um, the other thing I'm gonna, okay, next I'm gonna take this pseudo type of liner. And again, this doesn't have a name to it. I don't think it's an e.l.f. product. I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and for a liner, I'm going to use this deepest, darkest, black looking thing. It's kind of like a coal and it's pretty matte. And I know from a uh, past that it is very dark. So I'm going to be very careful with it. Just a little goes a long way. And I'm going to start to outline my eye. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me move over my keyboard there. Okay, here you go. I'll watch me make a total fiasco about it. Okay, do you see how deep that line is? But it is beautifully smooth. And I am just at the tips of my eyelashes. Right there, right at the tips of my eyelashes. trying to move over so you see it. And I'm dipping in again and I'm just building on it. I'm surprisingly calm today. Usually my hands shake and I'm like all freaked out that I have to do this, but um, I think I enjoy talking to you guys so much that it's just calming me down to actually do this. And you might have some fallout on the bottom of your eyes like I've done, but um, you can swipe that away and you can uh, put some oops, put some powder on there just to get that squared away but that is as much as I'm gonna do as far as building up for liner and again we are talking about oh, I can never do it with this hand here we are talking about being subtle at um, at my age, I don't want to go out the door, uh, A, looking like a clown, and B, um, P, 
people saying, oh my God, what is uh, she thinking about? Does she not know her, her age? And not that you have to be, um, you know, wearing um, a scarf over your head and hiding out. And sorry guys, I am getting a lot of fallout from the black, which I will rectify later but um you know you don't have to you don't have to wear black and scarves and and you know basically hide under a rock but there's there's such a thing as classy beauty and you know i always appreciate that with women that are just classically beautiful like a Grace Kelly. I have to give kudos to um, Nancy Reagan. I have to give kudos to uh, Michelle Obama. I think these are ladies that are classy. Of course, Princess Di. And they knew how to wear makeup uh, to put themselves together and impress but not in a way that was like bam in your face kind of thing. All right, so I think we are done with our makeup. Again, um, this is not um, in your face. These aren't yellows and oranges and reds and purples and all of that. You can probably do maybe a little, um, you know, orange on the top there if you want as one of the highlighters. I would either go, and I'll, and I'll show you guys, I would either go with this one or this one for a for a highlighter on the top if you want to go all the way to your brow bone and kind of blend it in a little bit but I'm just gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna put mascara on next um, so let me go ahead and do that the two choices of mascara that I brought down one is waterproof and it's again has been very well loved and it's the essence La princess lash mascara it's the waterproof one and this is like the uh orange orange or pink i guess it's orange orange looking one and then the other one that i've got that i really really like is the maybelline snap scara mascara now this one um that i have tried is not i don't think waterproof but it just looks beautiful on the eyes. Um, you know, as far as lush, big, fat lashes, it looks absolutely gorgeous on the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm burping here. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply it. It's got a beautiful wand to it. Really nice wand. There you go. And it looks like a Christmas tree if you just kind of put it up like that. And I'm going to coat my lashes. And of course, guys, again, this is totally your choice. You can go ahead and uh, apply false eyelashes if you want at this point. Um, you know, if you really want to wing out anything, you can. At this point, I'm not a winger. I'm wingless. I have no wings. So um, I, don't, I don't really do a wing because I would probably completely look like someone doodled on my face while I was uh, sleeping uh, so I just don't even want to go there because people would be like what the heck were you thinking Maria I might want to come back for a second coat once it dries up uh, and then of course on the bottom too. Now I don't do anything major on the bottom. I still have a little fallout there, but uh, I don't do anything major on my bottom lids. And again, it's I think it's because uh, some of that liner effect for mature gals can actually be a detriment. It can actually make your eyes look smaller, not larger. So again, we are trying not to call attention to the fact that we got creepy eyes and small little eyes and non-existing eyelashes and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the good stuff that comes with age. Although I've always had small eyelashes. I've never had beautiful, big, lush eyelashes. 
My mother did, but I did not inherit that from her. She had big blue eyes and gorgeous eyelashes. Of course, she put on a lot of black mascara to highlight it, but she had what to work with, is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna go on the bottom now. ahead and close my eyes now and so that you can see hopefully I'm doing that I'm in in you know focus here um, if you want if you see it it does brighten your eye and it does open up this area of your eye so by pulling up that eyeshadow it really it does not whoa Maria stop um, it does not uh, emphasize the hoods. It really emphasizes this um, non-demarcation, and it just it blends really nicely. I really, I really do like the way that came out. Again, I'll have to work with the little fallout there, but no big deal. So I'm gonna come back, and um, then I'm gonna finish up with lipstick and blush and highlight. Okay guys, so moving on, we're gonna go ahead and discuss blush. Now I've got three blushes here that I really, really like. I love them for the color and I love them for the longevity. Uh, one is actually a uh, higher end and then the other uh, two are drugstore. And as a matter of fact, they are the same brand of the drugstore. So let's get through those first. Uh, they are both from Wet n Wild. They've both had plenty of love. One is Pearlescent Pink uh, 325B, and the other one is uh, Rose Champagne 326B. Okay, this is the Champagne, and this is the Pearlescent Pink. So there's that. And you can see they have been well-worn, well-worn. These are absolutely beautiful. And then uh, the one that I um, really like, and I use sparingly because it's, was expensive is the NARS Orgasm and that is just one of these colors that you just can't duplicate anywhere it's got this beautiful beautiful gold golden golden pink champagne type of color it's absolutely astoundingly gorgeous so uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one uh, just to show you guys how that looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my uh, cheekies and I don't do um, uh, what do you call it contouring and all of that uh, other stuff I really keep it again I keep it simple Oop, there goes something that just fell and uh, who is it in Gigi in the movie where the aunt said when you're young you should use a lot of blush when you're older you should use even more blush actually she said rouge but um, you can never have too much rouge she said when you're older so uh, I'm kind of agreeing with her on that you just want to be uh, just have this really beautiful sheen and highlight on your face and just gorgeous oh my gosh look at that that is absolutely beautiful 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 oh Yep, you can't have too much. You can't have too much, Maria. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Uh, and then we're going to get on to uh, highlight, which I am going to put on, and then lipstick. So let me just pause the camera and get all that. Okay, for highlighter, I've got two here that I really like. That I, they're, they're my go-tos. Uh, the first one is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection, and this is called the Center Stage Collection. Uh, to reflect shimmer palette I don't know if that's the name of it or not but I'll open that up and it's got a really really pretty marbling on it so it's got all kinds of colors and schemes that are going on in this it's just huge so 
it's um it's lasted me quite a while so there's that one and then the other one that i really really love and these come in like three colors i believe three or four colors is the la girl strobe light strobing powder and this one is 100 watts so i think it comes in wattages like 100 watt 200 watt 300 watt that kind of thing and this is absolutely beautiful beautiful as well so i think i'm going to go with this 100 watt and just uh, go ahead and put some right on my cheekbones right there and do you see that luminosity guys do you see that do you see that it looks like it looks like it's wet almost look at that shine just look at that shine holy moly uh, you can't go wrong with this one. It does have some fallout. I'm just putting my um, hair back so I don't get um, golden glitter or whatever it is highlight on my hair. Don't need that. But that is how that looks like. Look at that. I mean, you can see exactly like where I'm putting it here. In fact, I should. I'm going to go in with my little blush brush, just clean it off and just kind of smooth it there underneath my eyes so it doesn't look like um, my eye has uh, lamps on it but look at that glow on there just look at that glow oh my gosh that is just beautiful I mean you know you're out there in a party you've got some beautiful lighting or candlelight or anything like that at a dinner party and girlfriend you're gonna glow like you just came back from the Caribbean or, you know, the Bahamas or Hawaii or something like that. You're just going to glow up a storm. So the last thing we're going to do is uh, lips. And I've got two lipsticks here that I really like for um, nighttime. One is, uh, who is this by? This is by, 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 uh, Maybelline. Yes. Yes, Maybelline Bold 795 Smoking Red. And this is the Va 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 Voom color. Look at that, guys. Whoa. There. You see that? That is red, 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 red. Uh, it's a deep burgundy red. It's not a fire engine or that kind of red. It is a really pretty red there. And then I've got the other one, which I really, really like. It's the, um, uh, how's it called? Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. And this is in Cinnamon, uh, Cinnamon Beige. I really like this for a nicer, deeper nude. Uh, if you still want to go for the nuder look, but not too dramatic. So that's that one. So I'm going to go ahead and slap on the really dark one just to show you guys how it looks like and uh, I cannot talk on doing this look how rich that color is I mean you basically need one swipe and you are done look at that color oh my gosh If you want to use a um, pencil, you know, liner, um, this would lend itself to it because it is dark and it will catch. So I'm just trying to clean that up, guys. Not the best drawer on the planet. There we go. Look at that. Now that is va va boom. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous red. Let me go in a little closer for you guys. There you go. There it is. There's the look. And again, you know, uh, obviously I'm not dressed for the occasion wearing this t-shirt or anything like that, but uh, once you put your hair down and, you know, you've done all the other stuff, I mean, this just comes together like nobody's business. 
I don't know if you can quite see what I'm seeing, but uh, it really, this color does uh, bring out my eye color. So I do have light eyes, I have green eyes, and this dark lipstick just absolutely makes them pop. I don't know if you can see that, but it just absolutely makes it pop. So I think I've gotten through all of that. I'm just going to come back and do the... Um, the face setter that I use, uh, the choices that I use, and then we'll be done with this. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this long saga. So I've got all of my stuff done as much as I'm going to get done. Uh, so what we wanna do is the setting spray. We wanna lock it in, lock and load so that we are done and we have this glamorous look on all night. And again, kind of imagine me with a nice gown or something, you know, my hair kind of up. I know I've got my glasses on here, my granny glasses, but uh, that's just to put my hair back while I was doing all this. But, you know, you'd have some long, beautiful, dangly earrings and you'd be all blinged out and you have your, you know, your, your nice uh, gown on or outfit. So uh, the, three, the three setting sprays that I really like uh, in no particular order, actually there's, oh, there's only two. This one was a face primer, okay. Um, the two setting sprays that I really like is the Milani Make It Last, and this one is really, really a lock and load. I mean, this will carry you all night long. And then the one I really like uh, with Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration is this uh, strawberry, um, it's a set and refresh mist starberry scent. And it's got a really nice strawberry scent to it. So I'm going to, just to show you guys, do you see how fine that mist is? There you go. Here, there. It's very fine. And you can put quite a lot on there because it's, again, it's extremely fine mist, which is I, which I really love about it. Um, so it's not going to streak your, your makeup is not going to go ahead and run on you or anything like that. It will just set it beautifully. It will just make it shine and last and uh, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. My light just died on me, so that means I should get off the camera, Maria. Uh, so again, there it is. That's the highlighters coming in close. My lips. And again, you know, if that's too dark for you, you can go lighter. Everything is subject to customization by you guys. There's my other cheek. There's the foundation. There's my eyes. My eyes closed. There you go. And that's it. And I hope you uh, you like this video, please. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. Please thumbs it up. Please share it with your friends. I know a lot of uh, women get to that point in, you know, in their lives where they want to look really nice. Um, they want to look put together. Uh, but they don't want to be over the top. They want to be elegant. And, uh, you know, going out and being among friends, it's all about love and positivity and great energy out there for your holidays, uh, for your family gatherings. And I hope that you take some of this, uh, you know, you can, you can uh, customize it, like I said, any way you want. You can forgo anything you want if you don't like highlighter or whatever. If you do like contour, like I said, I don't use it. Uh, but anything is customizable, and I hope that you got some inspiration from what I did. I love you guys very much, and um, happy holidays, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!